I'll show you how to generate a £608 free bet on the football without taking risk. I won't be holding anything back, showing everything in a way that anyone can understand. It's easy when you see the numbers and follow the logic because the whole strategy is based on mathematical advantage play. It's like gambling when you know you're gonna win. Now I'll walk you through it step by step and show a few examples on the screen as we go. But as I've said before, I don't believe in taking risk. This is purely to show you how you can create an advantage and get one over the bookies. It'll be a valuable one for many viewers, I'm sure. So. Derby played Bristol City in the championship last weekend. Prior to the start, there was a numerical situation that made this a banging opportunity ripe for exploitation. In fact, there are a whole load that day, including the Brentford v Spurs and Leverkusen matches. The latter would have been extremely profitable, creating a winning free bet of £2,000 if there was just one more goal. I'll show you how and why as I explain this free bet strategy. Now at this point I should mention that a notification on my phone alerted me to get the best options as they appeared which really helped out. I'll explain how I did that in just a second. The reason this strategy works though is because it's one of Bet365's two up matches. For those who don't know that means that they pay out winnings early if your team goes two goals up. It doesn't matter whether it's 2-0, 3-1, 5-3, or any other scoreline. They pay the bet as a winner at the point we're betting on goes two goals ahead, even if they go on to lose the match afterwards. There's a massive list of qualifying matches for this every week on Bet365, and a few other bookies like Paddy Power offer it too, which is great because there's plenty of opportunities as football matches go two goals ahead all the time. This particular match is of interest because Bristol's price with Bet365 was equal to the betting exchange, meaning it was possible to place a bet on Bristol to win the match with Bet365 while simultaneously betting against Bristol to win the match on the betting exchange, removing any financial risk. To be crystal clear, we're looking at two bets that cancel each other out completely. If the team we're betting on doesn't go two goals ahead, we don't gain anything, but we don't lose anything either. But if Bristol do go two goals up, we get paid out early whilst the match is still in play, which is where things get interesting because Bet365 will pay out the full winnings there and then, which gives us a chance to adjust the exchange bet in play. Hitting cash out on the exchange bet is the simplest way to lock in a profit across all outcomes when this happens, although an early payout calculator can help extract even more profit from the situation. But there is a problem because pre-match prices on an identical match every single time. And also, we might wanna play the value that's been locked in in a different way, particularly when the payout is with the underdog. Because if the favorite goes on to score after the early payout, it will drastically change the in-play prices and provide a far bigger profit. Watch what happens with the pricing and profits in this example here on the screen. Now I'm showing you here with a bit of software to make life a bit easier. There's a link in the description down below if you wanna take a look at it for yourself. So you're seeing a very efficient price match on Bristol here. The software is highlighting that Bet365 currently has them priced at 3.0 and the exchanges as 2.88, a tiny arb. So I'm looking to place a back bet with Bet365 and lay off the bet with Smarkets or Matchbook because Odds Monkey membership entitles us to 0% commission on the lay bets, making things a touch more profitable. Now it's possible to set strict criteria on the filter tab here, so we only want to see the best matches because there's no point in wasting time or being inefficient. So I select the two up filter, set it to a minimum match rating of 98%. Minimum back odds of 2.0 and minimum liquidity of £100. For those who don't understand, liquidity means the amount of money that is available to lay on the betting exchange. Chances are there won't be available matches for such a strict criteria, which is where you get this message, which is how I set up that notification for my mobile phone. A massive time saver that ensures best results. So sometimes the price has changed slightly by the time we get to the bookie, but it doesn't really matter if we're getting a 100% match or thereabouts. With a 100% price match, there's no loss. In this instance, if you look at the early payout calculator, you'll see that we make a little profit on qualifying. To talk you through the numbers, with a stake of 200 pounds, back odds of 3.0 on Bet365, and lay odds of 2.88 on Smarkets or Matchbook, the total final result is £8.33 either way. To achieve it, the exchange's lay stake would need to be 
33 at the price of 2.88. This means that if Bristol win, it's plus 400 pounds with Bet365 and minus 391.66 on the exchange. If they draw or lose, it's minus 200 with Bet365 and plus 208. 30 with the exchange. A net result of £8.33 either way. But that's not our objective. It's just the worst case scenario if they don't go two goals ahead. In this case, Bristol went two goals up in the first half, triggering the early payout with Bet365, which is where things heat up. After the second goal, the exchange price was available to back at around 1.14, with several thousand being matched a few prices higher. Now, consider the following three options as there are several ways to play this. First, the low risk guaranteed profit option means that all we need to do is hit the exchange's cash out button. I'll use the early payout calculator to show you what happens with the numbers. With the original numbers already entered, we change the early payout to yes and input the current exchange odds of 1.14. So you can see the exchange cash out secures a loss of £317.98, but Bet365 have paid out £400, leaving a net position of £82.02, and pence, which is not bad, but it could be better. So let's take a look at option two. Higher cash out odds mean more profit, and this match was always going to be tight. Looking at the starting prices, a draw was certainly likely, and the correct score markets pointed towards there being several goals. So there could quite easily have been a counter goal from Derby. Leaving the cash out until after Derby scored would have given a far bigger profit. For example, if the odds reverted back to 1.42 and we cashed out there, the net position would be £185.80, which highlights an important point. Picking higher odds outsiders to go two up is a lot more lucrative, even though there's less chance of it happening. I mentioned the Leverkusen match in the intro because the outsiders had a 100% odds match at 10.0 before going one up. A second goal would have given this strategy thousands in profit, especially when you see the final scoreline, which leads me on to option three. A £608.33 free bet is created with no risk whatsoever if we don't cash out or place a counter bet. Sure, it's more risky, but look at the financial upside. This could be extended to £7,604.00. 17 if you place the offer's maximum stake of £2,500. Just look at the numbers. Where else can you get that kind of return with no risk tax-free? Even without the perfect odds match, it's worth risking a couple of quid to win big. But this isn't the most consistent way to beat the bookies. There are far easier and more lucrative ways to beat the bookies. As I reveal here in this video, much like this strategy, all the numbers and logic are laid out clearly. So check it out if you really want to beat the bookies. It's a useful one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video down below if you found this useful. Thank you.